more than a dozen attorneys general are challenging the court is the individual mandate, and some of them are Republicans running for governor, some uh, running for other offices. Uh, you were one of the people who conceived the idea of the individual mandate back in 1993. You and the late uh, Senator Chafee were trying to come up with an alternative compromises in Hillary Clinton's no. health care proposals. Uh, was it okay then, but now it's unconstitutional, or do you think these attorneys general are wrong about challenging the legality, oh. the constitutionality of the individual mandate aspects of this? No, I think they're right then, and I think the only difference between 1993 and the year now, it, it, if it was unconstitutional today, it was unconstitutional in 1993, but I don't think anybody gave it much thought, and I think until maybe three or four months ago, when you start looking at what congressional uh, or a constitutional lawyers say about it, because constitutional lawyers wouldn't have been looking at a, a mandate for health insurance until it became an issue, and it just became an issue. Uh, uh, lately, and so I think that that's the legitimacy of it being considered unconstitutional now when that issue wasn't even thought of in 1993. And besides, uh, uh, you know, I came back to the same point of view where the president was during the campaign. Uh, he, uh, Hillary Clinton was for a individual mandate, but the president said it was absolutely wrong to require anybody uh, to buy uh, health insurance, and it was wrong to have the IRS to go after them because uh, Senator Clinton, then a candidate, said how she was going to enforce it was have the IRS go after it. And now the information has come out that it'll probably take 15,500 uh, IRS employees and about five or six billion dollars uh, to enforce this individual mandate that we now think is unconstitutional.